Leah, tell me, what happened between you and Sigrun on the lake? Well, she was rowing past where you found her family treasury. Where we learned she cursed her brother over forbidden love. That's right. And as we rode by, I remember feeling grateful that the place was now deep underwater where she couldn't see it. And at that moment, she turned to me and she said, I think, Mimir, I might be smitten with you. I think maybe I want to kiss you. Hmm. Mm, indeed, brother. I mean, there's always been more to us than there's been the opportunity to explore. So much unspoken beneath the surface. But I had to name it so boldly, uh, it took me a bit off guard.
Right then, time to ascend to the next area, if you're ready. A little boost this time around, maybe? Seems Valhalla won't let you that way unless you strike a bargain. I'm back! What a thrill! I must say, it's genuinely hard to think of anything stupider than pledging your soul to Ares of all people. I mean, any of Zeus's brood are bound to be garbage. Present company by no means excluded. But Ares made a real art out of being vicious and depraved. Though, I suppose I can't begrudge you your role model. I see you still use the blades he gave you. Can you really say you regret a decision and still keep benefiting from the trappings of that decision? I'm not sure, I'm just asking. You ever try to do the math on how many people die as a result of your little collaboration? 
Like contemplating the grains of sand on a beach, isn't it? Just overwhelming, honestly. Someone left you a party favor. Oh, and it's a symbolic totem of your shame. That's so thoughtful. Ah, now you've done it. You're being judged. And we all know your past actions wouldn't pass muster with anybody. to ask how did you like setting yourself on fire truly entertaining stuff sorry to miss how it ended up i think maybe you still have some ash on your skin am i crazy Siren? Cover my ears! Kratos! the thing someone told you to kill. Yay! Oh! I assume you can handle a pack of feral beasts. Oh! <laughs> 
Why are you using that weapon? You use Enemies will only get tougher the longer you Hey, Clay Brain, your target's walking around unkilled. From behind, incoming. Yes, pick something and let's go. I hope your trip through Valhalla has been fruitful. I brought something else to keep things interesting. You're not the only one with weapons from far off lands, you know. Ready?
Accept defeat. I crave power. Is that all? Are you sure? Nothing more to that story? Nothing else under the surface? I yield, Kratos. Very well. I believe you found an understanding within yourself. Shall we see? The pools. It's not only memories. Indeed. For what is a memory apart from our perspective on it? You know the evils that came of your path. You know the evils within yourself. Yes, these you dwell on. But it's not that simple, is it? The horde is vast, brother. What would have happened if you didn't stop it? Our lands would have been overrun. Our people killed, violated. The people your army was sworn to protect. An army led by you. Did you not feel a duty to fulfill your purpose? Did you not fear for the safety of your homeland? You saved them. You would excuse my actions? Excusing them is not the exercise, Kratos. Only accepting them. Accepting that you acted based on what you knew then, not on what was to come. Your motivation and their consequences are far more complicated than you let yourself believe. Hmm. I think perhaps you have more to process. Yes. I have much to think about. I will return. And I will be waiting. Yes. His voice echoes in the halls. There's no mistaking it. So it's Tyr's game you're playing? This is all his idea? A game is not his purpose. There is something here I must see through. And what is that exactly? A process. <sighs> all right. If it's helping. I trust you both. We all do. As we trust in Valhalla. Even after what it did to you? I knew the rules and chose to break them. I regret nothing. Mm. 
In the face of change, those who adapt travel, while the rigid falter. Fresh rewards with a side of new opportunities. You'll beat Valhalla at its own game. I know it. It's encouraging to know Valhalla wants to help.
Since we keep going back in, I take it this process is working for you somehow. Yes. Succeed or fail, I feel progress. Clarity. I need to see it through. Very good, brother. An infamous act, one they still spoke of in the years of rebuilding. I somehow doubted they meant it so literally. I'll give you this, brother. Your technique has improved immeasurably. I needed his power to secure my vengeance against the gods. I believed I had no choice. No choice? You could have not ripped my head off my body. That was absolutely an option. And he's back. But that wasn't the worst of it, was it, Kratos? Killing me deprived Greece of the sun. They were plunged into perpetual cold and darkness. Crops ceased to grow. Famine descended on our homeland. Not that you cared. Enough. He is better, isn't he? Kratos, I'm curious. Your decision to head Helios, was it fueled by any personal motivations? Was it really just a means to an end? It was not personal. I did know him long before I killed him. He was as insufferable as any god. But his death brought me no satisfaction. Did you know what would happen as a result? When Helios was captured by the God of Dreams, the lands fell into darkness and were not restored until his return. I knew exactly what would happen. Yeah. <laughs> 
Kratos, I hope you'll forgive me for overhearing. But before you first found your way to me, you were grappling with the symbolism of your former seat of power. May I offer a perspective? You may. Before I became God of War, I felt as hesitant as you do. I feared that taking the throne would only validate Odin's power hierarchy, which even then I didn't trust. But I decided I could wield a better influence on the inside than on the outside. There are many ways to lead, and not all of them involve ruling. The throne and the office are only what you bring to them. Dear, earlier you spoke to me as though I seek to lead, as if I was someone to be followed. Your self-criticisms, valid and otherwise, seem well reflected here in Valhalla. It's no accident that your mind manifested that throne. It's more than a symbol. It's a challenge to revisit your assumptions. Mimir is right. You have the power, and I think the wisdom, to redefine what it means to you. To assert that power is to prove to yourself that the chair doesn't change you, doesn't make you a new person. Not if you know who you are and why you serve. You must endure a burden for a time to receive a greater reward. To be attempted?
See the one you need to get there. Excellent. The way should be clear. Up and onward. Go! <laughs> 
store out of your memory of all things. Hello again, Kratos! And lest we forget Kratos, lest we neglect to place your deed in full and proper context, I saved your life! Me! And you literally tore off my head for my troubles! Imagine if all your new friends knew how you used to treat your old friends. Of course, you're not the same man, right? Now, you only get your friends killed through lack of foresight. Far easier to blame others that way, am I right? I know you are a projection of the mind. But for what it is worth, the death I gave you was unjust. Oh, how touching. Yeah, not actually worth the spittle it took to mumble that out. Do not do that again. Nobody wants to hear that from you. A little something to remember by. I truly hope it brings you unrelenting torment. Chills you just a little when they do that, doesn't it? Feels like judgment. 